Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my update, my last update before the finale. Oh my gosh, where is this year gone? Seriously. This is the last update for my 12 Pins of Christmas Project Pan that I'm doing in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Love Lulu. As always, all of her information will be linked down below in the description box. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. There is a bunch of fun stuff happening here on this channel for December, so definitely keep your eyes open for that. But but before anything else, let's dive into the progress that I got. So because of the short time frame of this project, we decided to go with either sample sizes, deluxe size samples, things that were almost done, things that were about to hit pan, basically kind of like gimme products, just a little bit bigger than a gimme product. <laughs> so we each have 12 items and we are going to show you our progress. So let's start off with one thing that I use pretty much every single day. Um, this is the Sugar by Fresh uh, Advanced Lip Treatment. And when we started this project, this is just a lip balm, it was down just underneath the G in the packaging of sugar. And as you can see now, if I hold it up to that little plastic part, we are literally down almost to the words down here. This will definitely be gone by next update. I use this every single day. I love it. In fact, I might even repurchase this when it's gone because I really, really like it. And it's really hard for me to find a lip balm that I enjoy. So I think I'm having really good progress on that. The next product that I had, and obviously these are out of order. You guys should know me by now. I never go in order of any of my projects. So I just, I like to keep things interesting here on my channel. Um, the next product that I had was the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. When we started it was somewhere up in this range here and it is completely gone I have another backup full size and a deluxe size of this so needless to say I have plenty to last me for a while the next product that I have was one of the what three powders I put in here I had some lofty goals this uh, project here this was by Avon and it was the smooth minerals radiant veil and when we started it was kind of like down in this bottom of this sticker region and again I used it completely up this was very similar to like the bare minerals radiant mineral veil um, where it just kind of gives you a wash of like luminosity to the skin without making it look cakey and powdery I really did like it I highly doubt it's even available anymore because that sucker was pretty old um but along those lines if you're looking for something similar to that something like the hourglass ambient lighting powders is kind of where that is headed as far as the look on the face you know what i mean all right this next one is a perfume by Estee Lauder. This is the Modern Muse. And when we started, it was just around the, you can't really see it. There's words right here saying Estee Lauder. And that's where it was. It's gone. I love this. I have a rollerball in this. And then when that rollerball is gone, I might consider repurchasing it. But I do have way too many perfumes that I need to work through first. I'll link my perfume collection video up above. Um, I will warn you, you'll need a meal to watch it. It's a little... Uh, it's a little extreme and I've since added more, but we're not going to go there in this video. This is a panning video, not a collection video. So no judgment. Um, this next product is the long calm Monsieur big mascara. I did say in the beginning of this project that this was like fresh opened when I started. Um, this is starting to get a little bit, not flaky, but it's getting a little bit like dry, I guess. Um, I am going to continue using this until probably the end of the project because I do really like it. I'm wearing it on my lashes today. It's probably one of my favorite mascaras of all time, but um, yeah, I don't consider it done just yet. It still works. So we're still kicking on that one. This next product I have is by Belief, and this is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. So basically it's an eye cream, and I use this night and day, and it's gone. So we were, I mean, I can't give you an exact location of where we were. There was a good coating along the bottom of this when we started the project, and I really like this stuff. And once I get through the rest of my eye creams, I will probably repurchase this and stick with just this. This is probably one of the only eye creams that I can visibly notice a difference in the texture of my under eyes. So very happy with that, and I would repurchase it. The next thing I had was the Sephora Pressed, what is this called? I, always, I do this every video. Every time I mention this, I'm like, what's it called? This is the Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade Neutral Linen. This is Sephora's like pressed powder foundation and it is a deluxe size sample, but it was a big, deep pan of deluxe size sample. Um, when we started, it was probably about halfway through the entire pan. And here we are now. It is paper thin, you guys. Like, I don't know if you can see up close, I'll try, but, the pan itself, like 
it's so paper thin the product on it and it's pretty evenly uh, worn down so I'm positive this will be gone by the next update and another product out of my collection I actually really do like this stuff it's a little bit too yellow for my skin tone I know I look really yellow right now but I'm actually sitting in front of my Christmas tree and we have that like soft white light so that's what's giving me that really yellow tone but I don't know segue segue Shay it's been a while since I filmed can you tell the next product that I had was a pencil, and this was the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. And when we started, it was one and a half cap lengths high. And as you can see now, we are literally like less than a cap length high. So this pencil is kind of a multi-use pencil. You can use it for, you know, covering up blemishes. You can use it for, uh, you know, in the waterline of your eye to reverse line your lips. I mean, you can kind of do anything with it. I tend to use it to carve out my brows, but the trouble I'm having now is it's getting drier. So it's leaving like a, a thicker residue than it used to and it's really difficult to use so I'm gonna try my best to finish using it up obviously I'm not gonna use this whole thing to nothing um, I'm assuming I can get it probably down to about here before I can't sharpen it so I mean I'm gonna try my best to use this in any way that I can but Oh, it's so close. I've, I have high hopes for that one. I chose another powder. Um, and this is very similar to that Avon one that I talked about where they have a similar kind of finish to them. And this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, does it have a shade? It just as original. So basically, it's just a deluxe size sample. And as of now, we are just about here. So we've lowered it down quite a bit. And I do think that this will be gone by the final update because, or the finale. Oh my God, have I said update this whole time? Did I say the next update? I did. Oh my gosh. The entire time I've said that I meant finale because you know. Anyway, all of this stuff, hopefully, I'm almost positive, will be gone by the finale, which will be the most successful project pan I have ever done. And I'm super excited because yeah, exactly that. It'll be the most successful project pan I've ever done. I also have a few products that me being, you know, me with my memory being as crappy as it is, I have already gotten rid of it and featured them in an empties video because that's how I am. So I did also have two perfume samples that I combined together as one item in this collect collection, what? In this project. Um, I had the Hermes, I think it was Citron Noir and the Kat Von D Sinner perfume. I used both of those up. They're completely gone, long gone, goodbye. I don't have the packaging for them. And I also had two foundation style products. I had a Laura Mercier, uh, flawless fusion foundation that I did end up using up as much as I absolutely hated it <laughs> And then I also had a makeup forever. I figure what it was called It was like a sheer tint BB something that was way too dark for me I did end up passing that along to a friend who is darker than me um, Because she was looking to try the foundation and that's just something I had that I knew I hated So that was passed on and decluttered but other than that every other thing in here I do believe I'm gonna be able to use up by the finale So I'm really excited about that again. Don't forget to check out Lulu down below in the description box. She's an awesome person. Her Instagram is amazing for lifestyle and cooking. Also, if you've come over from her channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Stick around. Come hang out with me. I like new friends. We all like friends, right? Okay. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you guys are finishing up this month. Let me know also what you guys are doing for Christmas. Like, do you guys have any special traditions that are unique or that aren't as common as, you know, your other typical traditions? Let me know down below. I'm interested. So thank you guys again. I hope you choose to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you love the Project Pans, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.